Time it is the human operating system time. So if you follow my videos lately, I have uh, get into the heart rate variability and the five heart rate zone for training in big time. So why do I want to do this? Or why do I do this? Well, this is actually very critical for now. Especially for traditional Chinese martial art or Qigong. So today I'd like to share with you. Only with the 5 heart rate zone and heart rate variability, we can map the traditional Chinese martial art and Qigong practice into a clear map so we can track are we learning we can track are we progressing uh, we can track also and we can know whether are we study the proper thing or train the proper thing see we cannot live in hearsays legends we, we can do that unless we have a systematic very clear and accurate uh, maps there where we can track there's no way we know what is going on we can keep trial and error and guessing and everybody have their opinion or interpretations look at the past 60 years Everybody have their philosophy and so forth, so forth. But what is it? Well, every grandmaster can stood up saying that uh, their style this way, that way, that way. But what does it mean? And who can get there? Is that something which is, can be measurable, trackable, monitor? If not, how can we know the Grandmaster have that uh, type of uh, 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 development or ability? How can we know we're going to learn that? As in Qigong, many promise that Qigong will uh, improve health and uh, so forth, so forth, healing. Are you sure? How to, how to track it and not only that how do you know that this type of Qigong is uh, suitable for this type of uh, needs well it is a problem a big problem and then uh, usually like uh, in, uh, in, in Wing Chun I heard people say well you know we do this uh, Wing Chun is for street fighting and then, uh, and then uh, we do chi sao and then uh, they are sparring and all this kind of stuff uh, so how is that how is that mapped into the MMA player same with people who practice say internal martial art doing push hand internal this using yi don't using strength how is that possible to map into MMA player if one not be able to map into that then there is a big problem there it's like a, sometimes you can see that it is like a, a, the, the traditional Chinese martial art people living in one world and you can see the MMA living in another world another world which are the Thai boxing is there, the BJJ is there, the Western boxing is there, the Kyokushin is there. But the Chinese, traditional Chinese martial art, especially the internal, is living in some, some kind of world which we have no idea what it is. And it is not uh, 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 converged with this, this, this world of MMA. So that's why it need to map into it. 
and we know here on here on we know what is going on we can make equivalent and only that way we can predict we can analyze thing analyze thing okay and synthesize thing so today i like to share with you this okay this is to sum up so that in one view you see this once you see this you know how to ask questions and you know how to track your studying your progress and so forth again this is an education it is a must so this is the chart okay so this part is the five heart rate zone so namely this is uh 90% to 100% of heart rate. This is 80% uh, to 90%. This is 70% uh, to 80% of the maximum heart rate. Okay, here, M, H, R is maximum heart rate. Everybody, due to our age different, we have different uh, uh, maximum heart rate. Okay, so this is the 50%. To, uh, this is to the the, the uh, 70 to 80 percent this is the 60 to 70 percent and this is the uh, 50 to 60 percent and then this is the resting heart rate okay when you sleep when you're in deep sleep that heart rate okay which is lower than uh, the, the, the 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 50 60 percent heart rate for for us okay who is like me 60 years old okay so this is still lower than this thing okay say for example my heart rate i'm 60 years old my heart rate is maximum 100 percent is uh, 160 so 50 percent will be 80 and my sleeping or resting heart rate deep sleep will be like 58 60 so it is uh, lower than that okay so in the modern sport science in the modern sport science it means something that so if one want to have the anaerobic training or hardcore training okay hardcore training one need to get to the 80 to 100 percent of heart rate zone training one need to train that okay one need to train in this zone not between 80 to 100 percent if one is doing hardcore and uh, anaerobic type of training so if one want to fight MMA, one want to uh, fight in Kyokushin, Thai boxing, you expect you need to train here, okay? It's high speed, a lot of strength, power, high momentum type of stuff here, uh, or region here. And uh, that, that's modern sports science, okay? And that's why like a... Uh, my watch here, the, the, the tracker, this Polar Vantage V can, is, can track those kind of stuff, okay? Now, so you have the zone 3, the zone 3 which is 70 to 80% and then this is a zone 2 which is 60% to 70% of your heart rate. This is the area when people do aerobic training, cardio and fitness. Okay, in this in this domain in this region okay and then uh, for the zone one which is 50 to 60 percent that is for recovery warm up and uh, cool down now if the body want to get into the deep recovery healing or charging of course one need to get into this the, the, the deep rest type of uh, heart rate which is a lower heart rate when one sleeps the body recover uh, charge the body energy you know so so it is this type so this is modern sports science okay so one know one can track like uh, with this uh, fitness tracker okay with the chest strap one can track where did one train and uh, so one can expect the result say for example one cannot just uh, do something here and expect to have the hardcore uh, result, okay? And uh, one also cannot keep have a hardcore result without recovery because that's going to damage the body, okay? 
Okay. Now, so so this is trackable. This is trackable. Okay, with a with a with with a, with a, a, a watch like this, you can track it. Okay. So with, with this type of stuff, you can track it. Now, for the Chinese, if you like look at the Chinese traditional Chinese martial art or the the uh, the, uh, the 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 qigong type of training or internal training, real internal training, okay? It consists of all the five zone and the resting zone. It consists of all of this thing. If it is a real, real solid internal Kung Fu development, it has to have all this. So, for the Chinese, this 80% to 100% that is the training for the sparring and fighting one need to get into that no like uh, also your back training and so forth has to be like that now for this from zone 1 to zone 3 for Chinese uh, martial training it is for fitness okay body conditioning and that's where the 2C, you know, the deep breathing stuff, the 7 bowls handling, and uh, the force flow, basic force flow, and the basic impulse momentum handling come into play. Because one need to have this in order to do, to go up to here, to the, uh, to the hardcore, the sparring and fighting, okay? Without this, it's hopeless to go there, okay? You just don't have the cardio and do that. So, so that is how, the, how it is. So one cannot just train here partially and, and, and claiming, hey, you know, I trained this, this is a Chinese martial art is for street, it's not for competition. Well, we like it or not, if one is not trained in this, this, uh, this uh, 80% to 100% heart rate zone, forget about fighting, forget a real hardcore sparring. Okay, so and for the uh, for the for the for the Chinese, for the Qi Gong, for the healing uh, recovery effect of the Qi Gong, one need to get down to the the, the resting heart rate. Okay, the, the deep resting heart rate area. So Sing Qi, natural resonant breathing quiet the mind, all is belongs to this zone, okay? So the heart rate will be able to drop down to the sleeping heart rate or resting heart rate, okay? Depend on your Kung Fu. So, if one is having a so-called internal Kung development, they will have the entire thing developed, okay? The internal Kung. Now, one cannot just do here, like I practice some sets, okay, the, the set is mostly, you will get some aerobic, you probably don't even get cardio, okay, it's not going to help in the uh, fighting zone here. Now also, if uh, it is the set practice in this zone, if one keeps stop breathing, Hold on to the breathing, like somebody said, practice Xiu Lim Tao for uh, one hour, then one gets suffocate and everything is going to go into this zone. You force the body to go into this zone, and it's no longer develop what is here. Okay? So that is damaging the body, you know, as in the modern sports science, we know that. In this uh, zone 4 and zone 5, one is not going to stay long for that and one needs to be fit to do that. So what is the point to practice like Xiu Lim Tao or some other Qi Gong stand there and suffocate for one hour while get into the anaerobic and the body stiff up? You got a problem there if, uh, if, if, if that is not clear up. Okay? So, like the Xiu Lim Tao, it is of Wing Chun, it is designed for 1850, it is designed in this uh, 
in the, for the uh, zone zero up to zone three. So the the, the shooting tower eighteen fifty it have the this qigong side, and then uh, it it pro uh, it get up to the uh, the the, the uh, zone three the zone three or aerobic type. So it prepare one, it develop one's engine, it prepare one so that one can safely get into the uh, zone 4 and zone 5 or the anaerobic or the hardcore zone. Okay, I just put it down here so that you can uh, you can free screen if you, you know if you need it and print up this thing. Okay, now or you know I'm just going to uh, take a photo of this putting on my uh, on my site, my blog site with this video, under this video so you can take get it. So this is all needed to know, okay? And if one want to have a healing qigong and so forth, one need to get here. And another thing is need to be paying attention is the heart rate variability. When the breathing and the uh, heartbeat synchronize when you do lower breathing, you lower your breathing, okay? When you, as I explained a few times in uh, the, the, the other videos, when the breathing late, when the breathing gets slower, slower, and uh, the, uh, the, the, the heart rate, heart, heartbeat actually synchronized with it, you actually uh, improve or make the uh, heart rate variability more or the heart rate will change more the heart rate variability right you have more vari variability Th those are an indications of natural resonance breathing the mind quiet down and that's what the sing chi to tan tian the beginning of the qigong okay so that's why if you look at the uh, meditations or yoga people the use heart rate variability, uh, the breathing training to improve their heart rate variability. They need to get into that, that, uh, that, that slower, uh, the, the breathing gets slower and then the, the heart beat synchronized with the, uh, with, with the breathing states, okay? To improve the heart rate variability. Okay, again, I'm talking here about the what they call coherence. I'm not talking about the definitions of the heart rate variability where uh, the, 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 the interval of the beats uh, vary those things. Okay? So uh, don't get that, don't get what I'm talking about with what somebody thinking uh, in this uh, definitions of the uh, heart rate variability of. Okay, I'm talking about the, the, the coherence where you get down to the lower breathing and then the heartbeat synchronized with it and then you can improve your heart rate variability there. Okay? Not about the definitions of heart rate variability where many people uh, ask me uh, why I'm checking a Wikipedia and uh, uh, what they say there is different. Well, you need to listen carefully for what I'm talking about. Okay? So, with the heart rate zone measurement, the track it, and heart rate variability, you can track this. You can track the entire traditional Chinese martial arts to know whether one practice it uh, suitable for one and, or one really uh, uh, practice the, 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 the thing which is claimed Okay, so if in other words, if one practice qigong, one be able to check the heart rate and the heart rate variability. The heart rate will be able to sink down to the resting heart rate. The heart rate variability will get will be able to get high. Okay, uh, increase. Okay, not get high. Increases. Okay, now or improve. Okay, now if one practice the two C, which is the extensions of here the uh, the natural resonance breathing. One can carry this practice here into the aerobic, so so one can breathe deeper, diaphragmatic, um, diaphragmatic breathing here, and then one can use it up to the to the anaerobic or sparring zone. Okay, so that's the idea. 
natural resonance breathing, which is the what you call it, the Sing Chi to Dan Tian. You carry up here where you can get into the 2C state, and then you carry up here, you'll be able to handle the body, the breathing, the heart rate more effectively or efficiently when you go down there versus if we never train the real uh, 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 natural resonance low abs breathing here and never know what is the 2C. Okay? So with this, with this it's very clear now and then you can check scientifically, cross check what is what. Well, the internal art, internal Kung Fu of China, like the Xiu Lintao 1850, is never like uh, just uh, Fa Jing, uh, 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 you want to be loose and then you do a certain uh, mimic, certain uh, posture, or you doing cer certain push hand. The, the, the internal art of 1850 is like this. It covers the entire range, okay? And, and so don't, don't be here and say, well, for do, do, uh, those stuff for loose, Fa Jing and all those things is, is belong to here for fitness, for, for recreation, for whatever. Well, don't equal that to, to the, uh, to the, to the uh, fighting. That's why if you look at the, uh, the other uh, two years ago when the Tai Chi guy, uh, 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 Lei Lei, Wei Lei, lose to uh, Xi Xiaodong, get, uh, get take out within uh, seconds, is because you cannot just have a partial development of here and thinking you can fight Xi Xiaodong who is here. Okay? Not to mention, if you look at Lei Lei, he has no idea of the impulse momentum. Well, you can push hand for 1,000 year, 10,000 year, 1,000 1, lifetime or until the end of the time. But if you want, never train in this, ana this uh, anaerobic and the hardcore training zone like uh, the MMA guy, okay? How are you going to fight? No way. And of course, not everybody can go up there. Like for example, I'm 60 years old now. It's not recommendable for me to go down there because, you know, when people aging, even when people aging, the heart rate variability going lower, okay? So, so if you say you're doing Qi Sao, Qi Sao is here, Qi Sao never get here. Why? How fast, how much power can you generate in Qi Sao in that distance? Versus the MMA guy shoot in or take down shoot in. Those type of uh, a momentum, those type of intensity. Okay? So, so in, in, in Chinese martial art, this is called People like to call this hard style. No, it's not hard style. This is actually intensity state. One need to have that state of training. When the general Chi Chi Guang wrote in about uh, read in, uh, wrote in his classic about the 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 the, uh, the, the momentum, which I, I brought out again and again in uh, in this book, in in this book. That is belongs to. He's talking about here. Look at his soldier. His soldier is actually trained in running marathon type of running, carry heavy weights, and their weapon always has to be much more heavier than the real weapon. Okay? And they fight a lot. That, that's here training. So when they talk about momentum, the Chi Chi Guang is talking about here. Well, without this training here, you cannot get here. And with only this training, there's no, not here, not training here, forget about it. Okay? So that's why you cannot say, well, I have this hand technique, I have this secret set, and that will uh, uh, help me to fight. Forget about it, okay? That is a reality uh, since 500 years ago in general Chi Chi Guang time. And then also another thing you cannot say, well, this is internal, this is Xing Chi to Dan Tian. When one has no idea what is natural resonance breathing, never develop it, and never check it with the heart rate variability to see is that true that when you drop your uh, 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 breathing rate, which means you slow down your breathing, let it synchronize with your, your, your heart rate, see how the, uh, the, the, the heart rate variability be able to, uh, to, 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 to increase, raise up, okay? 
Why anybody who have that, 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 that training in here where the natural resonance, breathing, well, go up to the states where one be able to slow down the breathing down to about six uh, uh, breathing per minute, there is where the, uh, the, 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 the heart rate synchronized with the breathing will know that if you get into that state, relatively your heart rate variability will increase compared with uh, you just breathe normally like a 12 breath per, per minute. And then when you go down there, your mood will change, okay? Compared with uh, the uh, breath at the 12 uh, breath per minute. So, so this all can be measured, okay? So, so in this book, in this book, actually I'm covering this thing. In this book, I'm actually covering this and up. Okay? So, so this, this is the reality. And uh, if we don't map it up, it is trouble. Because we, we really don't know what, what is going on. Okay? Grandmaster's name or style's name is not going to mean anything. The MMA guy doesn't care who is your who, who is your father, who is your grandmaster. In fact, the MMA guy like Xi Xiaotong don't even care for the grandmaster. Show me where's the beef. And this is the page need to satisfy in order to know what it is. And we know here we all invest on time and money practicing Qigong meditation and Chinese martial arts. Well, if we know this, we can track with the, our heart rate and uh, we can uh, track with heart rate variability, we know where it progress. And like me, you know, I'm 60 years old and then I know I cannot go here. Uh, even if sometimes I get, uh, I get uh, what do you call it, excited, I say, well, let's go sparring. But then, you know, hey, come on, okay, you, 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 there's certain things you should, must not do because it's going to, your body cannot take it because there's a free radicals and all kinds of study today which is people know. Okay, when you go anaerobic, you, your body, free radicals and so forth, so forth. And also you want to know that or you'll be able to get, I, I need to know that I need, i be able to get to the deep rest. Well, when I'm sick, I need to get here. I probably have even have to cut down here. Only when this is getting re, uh, getting a uh, 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 workout, I get uh, better. Then I can go back to this. So that that's all thing. But uh, the point is that we have this map now. We have uh, the 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 uh, the the fitness band like this one, the Vantage. V where I can measure the the uh, uh, heart rate zone, heart, uh, the training loads, the recovery, and then the uh, also the uh, autostatic test on my heart rate and my uh, my heart rate variability. So I know did they recover or I not recover. If I get into the uh, for example, if I get into the uh, the uh, the the sing chi to tan tian practice. Okay, this is reality. Let me tell you this. In the morning, I was asked to do this with the chest strap and everything. Since this is a professional type of uh, 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 gadget, the auto uh, static test. Now, in a good day, if I do the sing chi to tan tian when I uh, take the test laying down, well, my heart rate variability is this high. Now, if I have a cold, or I don't feel good for the day and so forth, you can see that even I get into the Sing Chi or Tan Tian state, the heart rate variability reading is lower than whatever when I'm healthy. So, think about it. If I never 
have this ability into the Sing Chi Tan Tian or uh, natural resonance breathing, my heart rate variability will be even lower. Okay, this is reality. Okay, so 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 the goal of education here is to make it so that it's measurable, it's reasonable. Everybody can honestly look at the thing and can improve themselves. Okay. This trigger of style or, 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 or lineage or, or whatever one be able to look at it scientifically, objectively, based on data. If somebody wants to study Sing Chi to Tan Tian internal, then well, you know, just check it out with the, uh, with the, with the, uh, with the uh, 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 fitness band or fit, uh, uh, chest strap and so forth. Okay? Only this way we can progress. We cannot really live in fantasy. Okay? So, so, so who is going to kidding? Okay? I, I'm 60. I cannot do this. I cannot go up here. Say the guy who is much younger can go up, their heart rate can go up to 220. I can only go up to 160. Okay? Their seven, their 80% is my 90%. How the heck am I going to fight them? Even though I, I know how to sing Chi Tan Tian, I know how to get to the 2C, I can uh, function much better than me without it. But I still cannot handle the, the, the guy who is younger. They have uh, advantage physically. If they train properly, it's just impractical, non-realistic to face those type of stuff. Okay, and it can damage body. No, we seldom fight these days. But if we don't know this, we might damage our body. Like people say, well, you know, practice Yulim Tao for one hour. I said, well, you look into this. Are you really sure you want to get to the anaerobic? Well, you look at people when they practice Yulim Tao, they purposely, some even stop breathing because they want to slow down the entire thing. When you, you monkey around with that breathing, where they stop breathing and forceful breathing, you're not brief. Now, that is very different than the natural resonance. The natural resonance is you get into the natural lower abs diaphragmatic breathing, you don't even force it and the body is actually run using the, uh, the rhythm of the, uh, the breathing. And of course, the heart rate is synchronized with that slow uh, diaphragmatic, lower abs diaphragmatic breathing and it improves or it, it rise up the HR, HRV, the heart rate variability. Okay. So that's how the Chinese say, well, you know, you track the Chinese Kung Fu, you can have better health and then uh, beside the martial because it has the technology to make this, uh, this, 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 this uh, the, 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 the handling of the breathing and the heart rate, the cardio more effective. But even that, humans have uh, limitations. Okay. So hope that this uh, will, 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 will clear thing up for you. I have uh, shared this view to the to many of our friends and uh, my friends in, uh, in in Asia also. I ask everybody say you know we, we better get into here so that everybody can progress can get better. That's the the bottom line. To contribute to positive. That's why I tell you about this solution. I'm not just go shooting at people, put down people, but I tell you, like the Sulim Tao. You want to do that one hour? Check your heart rate, which zone you are. Sulim Tao is designed from this resting heart rate zone to zone three. And usually, mostly, it is going to go up and down like that. Okay? When you rest, it is going to the resting heart rate. Or, or zone 100 and then when you practice your hand you're going to zone 2 when you get very fast it's going to go zone 3 
but it never get to zone 5. Once a while, when you snap very fast, purposely, you might get into the zone 4 a little bit. Okay. That's reality. Okay. But if I, I just practice the Xiu Tao for one hour and like I, I spend most of my time in the zone 4, zone 5, then it is not what it's designed for. And one will not get the result. So this is to share with you today. Also, one thing, the reason why I call it Wing Chun West on this human operating system or the, the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the channel I'm making here is because this is the Chinese uh, 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 technology. This is Western. This is Western. Now you have the Western and you have the Chinese. Now you fuse them together. We need to give credit to people who contribute. So Wing Chun West is no longer just some uh, the, uh, the, the, the Chinese creation. It is not. Because Wing Chun West now is using Western scientific, modern sports science to improve the effective and efficiency for learning and uh, so that to make a platform so everybody can progress from this. So I call it Wing Chun West. Wing Chun is from China. However, all the scientific which is going to help here to support it to grow further is from West. Okay, yeah, it has to be honest, right? I mean, give credit to where credit comes from. 